Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna fix a few issues I had with the car. I gotta fix the, the SSRA. I gotta try to modify that so it works with the ground effects. And I gotta fix my error that I made installing the uh, line lock. I gotta take the solenoid out and turn it upside down. I believe that's the problem, but we'll find out. Anyway, might as well do a might as well get a cold start while I'm at it. Okay guys, here's what I decided to do with the SSRA, is I drilled a hole here, and then when you bring this down, there's another hole, and I'm going to use these little push pins here, so you just, whoops. Okay, what I'm going to do is, when I run the quarter mile, I'm going to pin this down. I just take this pin, and I get it lined up here, just push it in, and you just put the pin in here, and that will, that will uh, hold it down, and that way I'll just, I'll just have it when I'm running a quarter mile, and to save from having, uh, hitting it on anything when I'm just driving around normal, I'll remove the pin. And just let it set up like that. I'll just, like instead of having it permanently down, I'm just gonna pin it whenever I run the quarter mile and just leave it like this under normal driving. Okay, so I gotta fix my dumb mistake that I made with the line lock. So I unhooked the battery just to be safe. And then I disconnected the ABS module here. So I'm going to loosen the bottom fitting. If I can get in here, just a tight spot. Put a rag down there to catch any brake fluid. Hard spot to see what you're doing. Okay guys, I got it all flipped over. I didn't film it. I mean, it's just uh, tighten up these fittings and it's such a hard spot to get to. The bottom one is so hard to tighten. I didn't bother filming it, but anyway, <clears throat> this should be the right way. I still got to test it. I got to bleed the brakes and then I'll, I'll, I'll uh, test it later in the video. Okay guys, I'm going to see how long it takes me to, if I'm going to do this every time I run the quarter mile, I want to see how long it takes to do it, like out where we run the quarter mile. So I gotta, I'm gonna have to have, bring something to set on. Anyway, see how long this takes. Okay, the first one's in. I don't want it down all the time just in case I hit it, hit something with it and end up screwing it up. Okay, so that one's done. So it's all down where it should grab air now. 
you can see it right here. So it shouldn't have any trouble grabbing air. Now let's see how long it takes to take it back off. When I'm done running a quarter mile. There's the first one. This one's a little tighter, but it's coming. There, just like that. So I have to make sure I keep a few extra of these in the glove glove box for when I want to run the quarter mile. Now it's up out of the way. It kind of catches a little bit. Where I drill them holes, so I can smooth that out. Anyway, that's pretty much when it's set like that, it don't catch the air, right? It's got to be down. Anyway, that should cure it. We'll uh, do a lot of testing there later on in the summer here to see if it's any advantage over what I had before. Hey guys, I got the SS emblem put on the front grill. Okay guys, I got the brakes all bled, so we're going to test out the line lock. Okay, so just press the brake, then the switch is right in here in the ashtray. Just push the line lock down, I'll put it in the drive. And she's locked. Oh yeah, she's working. Just release it. She goes ahead. So that's all it was. I had it upside down. The solenoid was upside down. Uh, so anyway guys I wanted to get out and do a an actual burnout for this video but by the time I get everything done the brakes all bled the weather kind of turned it's raining now so uh, that'll be a video coming up here in the future also uh, what I have planned is uh, first thing I'm going to do is test out the SSRA. Uh, we'll probably do like a 0 060 to see how that compares to last year, and we'll do a quarter mile to see how that compares. I don't expect to see much difference just for the fact that I already had a, the SLP version of that, but you never know. Hopefully, it'll it'll speed the car up a little bit. Another test we're going to do later on is uh, once I test it out with the, the Volant cold air, I'm going to put this SLP one back on and we'll compare this to the Volant. So anyway guys, if you're watching the channel for the first time, we'd appreciate it if you subscribed. We're trying to build the channel up. We're going to be doing a lot of testing here later in the summer. Uh, right now the weather's not been the best. I know the last few videos have been a little bit uh, on the boring side, but we're going to get back out running quarter mile and doing zero to 60. And like I said, we got 
couple burnout videos we'll do for you in the next week or two. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.